Welcome back to my channel. Girl, I call myself doing a silk press and I mean, it wasn't all that, but it was cute. <laughs> I did use a heat protectant, which I did learn the next time I straighten my hair, I will make sure to apply it on wet hair and not dry. My hair was not that clean to begin with, so the outcome, it could have been a lot better. But yeah, I was just trying to get it done <laughs> in between nap time. My little one was sleeping, so I was like, let me wash my hair in the sink real quick. Gear. I gotta make sure it's squeaky clean. But yeah, it didn't take that long. I want to say it took like two hours to straighten it. But yeah, next time definitely know my pros and cons and yeah i'm gonna learn from those i might even do just curls instead of a silk press just do curls and then wrap it and see what happens but yeah um i did go through it again just to see if it would get a little straighter but like i said it wasn't that clean so it was all right But yeah, for what it was, it turned out pretty cute. Wasn't as straight and fluffy, you know, and flowy as I wanted it to. But it was cool. Um, yeah, and I don't know where the little footage I had of me trimming my hair, but I've done that a couple times already. But yeah, I did go through and trim it. That was my main goal, was to get my hair straight so I can trim it that way. But yeah, I did wrap it, of course. That is no stranger to me, which is so funny that I'm glad I know how to and get it nice and secure because it's been a few years. But yeah, I thought that would also help get it a little bit more straight, but nah. So I just wrapped it back on up, child, because yeah, just wrapped it on up. And I think what was it? I, let, I wore it down for like a day and then just wore a low bun up until it got too oily. But yeah, rap game still a proper baby. Still a proper. But yeah, my hair did revert back really good. I wasn't worried about that at all because I didn't pass the iron through it that much. But yeah, it reverted back really good. And what I did learn in this process, which I'm glad I did it, I can now style my hair while it's wet. The shrinkage is not bad at all. Back in the day, no, nah, shrinkage was not giving me life, but now it's fine. With this, I like bigger hair, so I was like, uh, maybe not do braids, and if so, I'll do bigger ones. But yeah, I just tied it back in the scarf, let it do what it did. And uh, of course, had to rock my pineapple because, I mean, not gonna waste these curls, you know what I mean? So, um, I had my little scarf wrapped around my head and like a pineapple. I just clearly just shook it. And it still looks good. Uh, I'm so excited. This is definitely one of my go-tos. So, so far I got like a solid two to three. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, this is cool. Now I have to worry about blow drying because um, I usually blow dry my hair after washing it. But this time I just two strand twisted while it was wet and it air dried for two days and here we are. This was, I did it before and it didn't come out exactly, you know, I like big hair, so it didn't come out as big as I wanted. So the first time I did it, it had eight. This time was 14. So next time I do it, which is probably tonight or tomorrow, yeah. I'm gonna do, I'll probably say I do like 11. Cause eight was too less, 14 was too much. So yeah, I feel like 11 should get me that fluffiness that I want. For.